the biggest mistake you as an seo might be doing is not testing whatever the impact of the changes you are making on a website now if you are a blogger or a webmaster or a seo freelancer or even an agency it's at most important that whatever changes you are making on your website or your client website you need to check if those changes are having any meaningful impact on the site traffic impression or clicks and for this you can use google search console but google search console does not give a lot of flexibility this is where i'm going to help you learn about a new tool which you can use in your seo journey to improve your seo process So for many of you who might not be knowing me I'm Harsh Agarwal an award winning blogger who has been helping people like you to grow in the field of digital marketing Now the tool which I'm talking about today is called seotesting.com this is a tool created by another marketer called Nick Swan and I think this tool has been around for many multiple years and lately it has started getting a lot of traction and what this tool does is it connects with your Google Search Console account and then it helps you to make meaningful data out of all the data that is provided by Google Search Console now when you use a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs they don't gather all the data from your Google Analytics or Google Search Console they use clickstream to suggest you keywords that you should be targeting or they give you lot more data but SEO testing is way different than that it basically does one job and it connects with your Google Search Console and then it helps you to test your SEO thesis on your website and you can use it for your live website where you can see the changes which you are making are they yielding good result or not and when you see a particular change is yielding a good result you can scale that particular changes to improve the website traffic now i would show you some trick of seotesting.com that i have been using for a while and something which would help you in your journey so this is how seotesting.com looks like and their offering is very clear run seo test to see what works track the performance of pages changed and we we'll, we'll talk about that and yeah tie your result in an exact and impactful way you can try this tool for free for 14 days which is decent amount of time for you to try and test this tool and decide if it is for you or not the tool otherwise cost about $30 a month and depending on you know number of websites that you are managing if you are an agency you can go for their you know bulk account a tip for you like if you are an agency and if you are buying the top tier uh, uh, plan you can always before buying you can reach out to the support team and ask them for a discount and it would help you to save a significant amount of money so anyways let's go ahead let's look at seotesting.com dashboard so this is how the dashboard look like you can add multiple websites depending on the plan you have and this is my you know like the clicks per week or impression per week and whenever i make some changes on my website i add an annotation so here you can see like i have added certain annotations especially here where i fixed the broken links and also deleted some of the outdated content and i could see a significant improvement there but according to this it, the improvement might have happened earlier so what i can do is i can enable this option called algo updates and it would add all the algorithm update on the timeline and you can see like after which algorithm update your traffic dropped or traffic has increased now once you know which algorithm update has caused problem for your website you can actually start taking an action based on the solution for that particular algorithm update and you can find a lot of tutorials online where you could find solution where a lot of seos actually share their theories and their research or their experiment or their results after they have fixed their client website so that is one smart way to identify which algorithm update has caused problem for your website and then you can start taking action so you can see here like the main core update which happened on may 4 2020 the traffic of shout me loud dropped significantly and if i have to do something i have to go back to check this may update to find out what went wrong what was this update all about and then start making those changes now there are many things that you can do here the one that i am really uh, you know i use use all the time is one is called content group 
Now what content group does is let me open this. So now you might have lot of content on your website for different categories or you have a group of content with this particular feature you can actually start monitoring the particular group of content. And let me show you how it works. So I've created two uh, content group one is podcast one is Twitter and you can see the traffic in the recent time the traffic has started moving up which is a good sign and it's basically like from the last 3 months i've been working a little more active on shout me loud seo updates so you know like i am happy to see certain changes here but how do you do this so once you go to the content group you click on create a new content group and depending on the test you are doing so let's say for example i want to see how's my content around adsense is performing select this group add it a description all pages training since and you can select the update frequency so it can be monthly or weekly depending on the how often you are updating the content or how often you want to monitor changes you should select weekly or monthly so i i usually keep it monthly and then you can add exact match url you can copy paste the urls one url per line or you can simply add the word that you want to add in your group so in this case i want to add the word adsense in the group like all the url which has the word adsense will become part of this group and then i click on create now of course it will take some time maybe 10 minutes half an hour depending on the size of your website it will create a re- report like this and that's how you can start monitoring the changes on a particular content group type and it is very interesting because sometimes what happens is like you get topical advantage on particular topic but certain topic might not be performing well where you can actually add more content around that topic or remove the entire topic to another blog another website so that you know you maintain your main topical authority and those content group which is not working for you they might work well uh, as a stand alone website and this is particularly true for a bigger website so this is the first part now the second part which i use way often is called seo testing so here i go to seo tests and you can see i have run lot of tests single test group test url switch test and archive test and i would show you some of the example of what i have done So here uh, I have this article which was all about rank tracking tools and the permalink of that particular URL had lot of uh, stop words you know the words which should not be in the permalink and that article was written back in 2012 perhaps now recently on July 17th I have actually changed the permalink and I wanted to see the impact of changing this URL and let's see the results so let's click on results and you can see after making those changes in the test period the test period is the you know like so there was control period which was before and the test period is after making those changes i can see there was 41% increase in the clicks per day similarly site clicks per day was increased by 6.2% impression per day was decreased and average position was decreased so at least it gives you an idea of the changes that you are making what kind of impact they have Now let's go to some single test and I, here is one very interesting one. So this particular post, okay, a uh, lead pages review. Now I optimize the title based on the, you know, user intent and this is what the result looks like. Now basically the idea is when whatever changes you are making, you should make a note of that and there is a feature called site change log. and it shows you what the changes that you have made on your website as seo and of course it's not automated you need to manually add those changes in seotesting.com and then you would be able to monitor it and of course if you have never done this you might find it little challenging to you know make add those small changes on seotesting.com but once you make it a habit and whatever changes you are making you add it on the seotesting.com and you you monitor the result by logging into their dashboard or you also get an email notification uh you would be in a better position to make more informed decision and this is what seotesting.com offers and of course they have many more tools including rank tracking using google search console and feel free to explore them feel free to see how you can use it in your seo process and if you like it if you find this whole idea this strategy useful 
do like and subscribe to my channel and do browse all other SEO related content. You might find many golden nuggets which should help you to grow in your SEO marketing field. With that, I will see you soon. Bye bye. This is Harsh.